Wait, what's Born on my forehead? To hand job, baby. Born to hand job, baby. Do you remember? Oh yeah. yeah. <gasps> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> for a deranged intro and literally that was just what we were doing it, it was all natural yeah it was just happening naturally oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah oh, oh, my God. Jack. oh yeah <laughs> we're grease stands um my sissy is here i'm here miss lucinda limon actually miss tangerine limon it's yeah, I thought this was um, yellow when I bought it, but it's kind of macaroni orange. But I got three compliments today, so people like it. Yeah, it's gorge. I love it. I might have to keep it. Yeah, off newly. I wanted to um, say, hey, what's up, hello? Lindsay is in town. It's your pretty ass. Lindsay came in the door. You found the pea? I was just going to tell them the it story looks a about the, crazy. the princess and the pea. Okay, so this is my sugar snap peas I've been growing since literally March. And at this point in the season, they get a little bumpy. It still has the great crisp. Oh, okay. It's still fantastic and delicious. But she told me, she was like, every time you grow peas, like I just want one. And it I saved so it. I saved it on the vine for at least a month after it should have been harvested. Oh, so, so it wouldn't go bad. Crunch. So yeah, it's getting a little overgrown. But this is the and princess really and this is the pea. I also harvested this giant pea. Okay. Lindsay and her boyfriend Jared are visiting us in Oregon until Monday. Mmm, <laughs> it was better than I was expecting. Yeah, it was really good. What's the size of that pea in there? Should I eat the raw beet? I think that's bad. I don't think that'll be good. I'm not going to. I wanted to start a new vlog and just say, hey guys, what's going on? Lindsay and Jared are gonna be here over the weekend. We're gonna be having a totally wicked time for three days and you know, just start to vlog, say, how's it going? I haven't vlogged in a little while. Um, literally in my last outfits video, I was like, hey guys, I, I'm gonna be better. I'm gonna upload more. You know, sometimes you're on it, sometimes it's not as on it. Well, you I would have been on it, but I, I had, this is my third group of guests in like a week and a half. half. Larry, you found Mr. Jerwin? Bro, it's a snake. You have to rescue us, Rue. Rue, it's a snake. It's gonna eat us. Oh my god, Rue's trying to play. Oh, Rue. So cute. She is playing, actually. Look. Oh, she's like I'm scared. Oh, she's gonna eat us. 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 Living their best lives. Imagine them on the family trip. I can't wait to vlog it. We'll see their evolution. This plus Colin. I know, and Colin played it. Um, bring a soccer ball. Oh, we'll bring the soccer ball. I, I won't forget. Yeah. Colin used to play in high school, so Lord knows <laughs> that he'll be very excited about this. <laughs> oh. Are you gonna lose a lung over here? <laughs> Shit. I think I like popped on something. Oh my god, he did something crazy. That was crazy. Did you see that? A total show off. With a beer in his hand. What a dad. Like, he gives me such dad vibes, but he doesn't want to have kids either. Show me what you got. Okay. I brought you this. Check a little daisy top. Love this. I brought you this. It looks pretty cute on. I have it too. I've seen this on you and I would love it. You wore this in Georgia. Oh, yeah. Do you remember when we went to Brewster's? Mm -hmm. This is a never underestimate the power of a woman. Mm. I feel like you like Mm -hmm. I like that messaging. This is reminding Ooh, me of you. A scarf? It's a little... A head scarf? Put it in your hair. I'll wear it tonight to dinner. Put it in your hair. Um, I tried it on and it looked really bad on my short hair. I okay. thought it was going to look good and it looked really bad. I'm it's really like, excited. I'll totally wear it to dinner. This, this matches with this kind It does. It does look like that. This is a jumpsuit. Oh, I've seen you in that as well. Really Ooh, I'm prepared. This is kind of a crazy one. It's kind of wild. Yeah, that kind of looks like more mom, mom style. I don't know who to get this to. You should give it to mom. Okay, I actually have a whole bag of clothes for her to go through on the trip. <laughs> I know you don't really wear stuff like this, but these are like a little tight on me now, and I don't know really what else to do with them, so I brought a jean short. Well, Gina, jeans, Gina gave me a jean short when we were in Georgia too, and I have been digging them, oh. so. They look really good on. Yeah, with the Staring rips, the I feel good about this. Really I'll try them, I'll try them on. We're doing another clothing swap. I'll just let you raid my closet, because honestly, I didn't pick out anything specific. Did you know? Like six fifty, right, man? You loved playing soccer. Oh, yeah. Seven thirty is our reservation. Is that good? Six fifty. Wow, Rue. Wow. 
You guys had so much fun playing soccer outside with the boys. Look at this tail. This tail is just going crazy. Body crazy, curvy wing. Actually, here's big here chest, here little waist. Curvy. She has a big chest, little waist. Hey y'all, good morning y'all. I'm doing a little bagel making currently and just defrosting them in the microwave, popping them into the toaster, doing the whole thing. Honestly, I forgot to get more bagels for this weekend. So these are my last three. What can you do? We'll just have to go to the local diner or something like that tomorrow for breakfast but i wanted to say hello good morning it's the next day now it is currently sunday and i'm in my portland timbers colors miss green miss yellow but we are going to a portland timbers versus seattle sounders soccer game today that's really the main reason that Lindsay and Jared wanted to come into town was because Jared loves soccer. They figured they would come for the game and then they were like, wait, Jared has never been to Megan's house. And so then here we are at my house, you know? Um, and it's just been a totally wicked time. I didn't vlog last night when we went to dinner, but we did indeed do that. We went to a place in Oregon City called Nebbiolo. It's kind of like a wine and tapas place but they have like a lot of really good Italian food. So we went there and we were in a big fat hurry to get ready, or at least I was. And so in my rush, I forgot to vlog. So I apologize. I'll try to be better today. Today, like I said, we're going to the game, but we're also going to Bullwinkle's in Wilsonville, which is basically like a family fun center, they say. Lindsay just wooed from the other room. She's on the couch doing her morning wake up. But Bullwinkle's has like bowling, mini golf, Bumper cars. You want to go right now? It's 11 11 a.m. get there <laughs> The game is at 7 tonight, and um, we probably are going to go and kind of like pre game a little bit at Bullwinkles and like spend the day there eating, drinking, playing games. There's also an arcade and laser tag there. Some crazy stuff. You know, it's kind of like a Dave and Buster's, if you guys know what that is. Um, I'm sure you have something similar in your areas. I'm gonna butter these bagels. Would you like me to hire someone to butter your bagel? Is your bagel buttered? Do you guys remember that? I just watched Mean Girls while I had Jaden and Leah in town. I, sh I had to culture them and show them it. Speaking of um, Jaden and Leah, they were the ones who just came into town to visit me. I kind of wasn't really saying that yesterday when Lindsay and I were starting off the vlog just because I was so excited. Lindsay was here, we were talking about a lot of things. But um, I just had the girls who I used to nanny in LA and who I've known since I was like nine um, come visit me. Their parents put them on a plane and said, you're going to Megan and Finley's for five days. And we had a totally wicked time. We went to Powell's, we swam under a waterfall, we played with the pigs and the dogs and watched good movies and we made a delicious pie from our plum tree that we have here and it was just really pure. It was truly everything and more that I could have wanted. Whoa, that one's a little crisper than I expected. And then before Jaden and Leah came into town, we had Finley's friend from Virginia, Libby, in town with us. And so that's why I said I've been a little bit of an MIA gal on the yo YouTube, because I've been entertaining and hosting, truly. And I'm having a bagel party right now. Mr. Finley just woke it's up. too silly. Too tight? <laughs> Finley's getting totally Totally yoked from climbing, and now his shirts are well, getting a little much. This is my yeah, it's my tight shirt true. on him. It's kind of a medium, so maybe you'll have to wear. What if you wore your yellow shirt and I think it's like that. green pants? It you could. I'd ask Jared. Who would you ask Jared? Like, I don't. Do you think I look weird? I don't think you look weird. I think that you look totally yoked, like DJ Polly D. All right, y'all. I wanted to give you some updates. The boys are inside playing some Mario Party together, so I was like, I'm just gonna sneak out here and show you guys what we got going on on the garden bench. We harvested all of this really good looking, gorgeous garlic. 
I just have to, it's been curing here for a while, I just have to peel it and it's gonna be totally wicked for the rest of the year. I know that a lot of you said in my comments to just like cut the scapes off of the top when they started scaping as they were growing and then they would get bigger in bulb size but I just decided to pull some of them up because they were turning brown like this and kind of getting crispy and dying so I was like mm, I don't know I might just pull those up and um, just kind of cure the garlic for the season because we've never successfully grown this much so very exciting stuff and we also have a bunch of potatoes coming out of the mushroom bed right now. The grass is super dead right now, by the way, because it's been freaking hot. I'm gonna give you guys more of a tour of the garden, but um, before that, I'm gonna feed the pigs, harvest some plums from the tree, and have a totally wicked time doing it. Hi! Hi! Yeah, I don't want your snoots on my nice pants. Sorry. I'm gonna come around this way. Looks like I left a bowl out here yesterday brought them some of my leftovers to eat. The girls have been sitting in the mud so much lately since it's been so hot that they just have like a layer of dirt on them. Right now, it's getting pretty crazy. Hi, Peach. Hi, pretty Peach. Wow, you're really eating a lot. Okay. Ducky's butt and tail has so much dirt in it right now. Her little hooves too. Hi, Ducky. Hi. She's just having some delicious treats. Her coat is coming in so nicely again ever since she blew it and she had this big like bald patch on her back. It's coming in again and filling out, but she is still, both of them are still blowing a little of their coat and fur because it's so hot out. They normally do this in the summertime. But what was weird and abnormal and why we had the vet come over so many months ago was because she blew her coat in like fall and winter, which was really strange. So we thought something was wrong with her. But it was just, you know, just ducky things. And Peach has some spots where she has less fur than others and a little bit of breakage. But I just need to do some big moisturizing of them. And while Jaden and Leah were in town, I honestly meant to just do a little bit of washing of the pigs with them and moisturizing of their coats like my classic yearly video when I give the girls their spa day that I've been doing for like the past two years, I think. They definitely need another spa day, but I think I might just do it alone because we ended up not having the time to do it. We did a lot of separate activities and drove around a lot and went to various places. Hey, no fighting over the food, Peachy. She's so aggressive about it, you crazy ass. Anyways, I think I might just do that as an upcoming video. Maybe like a Q&A while I wash my pigs or some shit, but we shall see. I'm going to go and switch the sprinkler in the garden. Normally we water at night, but it's been really, really hot here and I haven't been watering as consistently as I need to because I've had guests in town. I keep forgetting to turn on the sprinklers. It's literally not even that hard, you know what I mean? But I've just been forgetting. So um, I need to go and just water at, uh, well, I don't have a watch on, but I think it's about 1230 right now. So I'm just gonna, do a little bit of overwatering and get those freaking plums because I don't want the plums to go to waste this year as they have in the past. That's probably the hardest part about homesteading is just figuring out what to do with everything that you harvest and like not letting anything go to waste. It's really hard to do that. Like, you know, just preserving, canning, freezing, all that stuff. Definitely the hardest part. So that being said, I can't let these damn plums go to waste. Otherwise, I will be very upset at myself. Okay, I gotta make another delicious pie. Our plum tree this year is so, so heavy with fruits. It's like leaning into our yard so much more. Well, also because I thought that we lost this during the power outage, but it just kind of like split a little bit at the base and then kind of like leaned over into the yard. And so it's still producing actually even more than ever this year, even after it was like struck with ice and broke and all that stuff. Also the blackberries are starting to come in, which is very exciting times, but I'm just gonna try and harvest as many of these as I can so that I can freeze them and make jams, pies, all of the things. The ones that I don't get off of the ground are the ones that have burst or have a hole in them, but if they're on the ground, it's fine. We don't spray our lawn with pesticides or anything like that. But if they do have holes or they've been looking like they've been bit or stomped on, I do not grab them. I 
honestly got so many in this medium sized bowl, it's appalling. So I'm just kind of gonna leave the rest of them for another day and I can come back out here and start to just jar some things, get some things going. You know, it's canning season. Speaking of canning season, I went to our local Buy Mart, which is basically just like a smaller Walmart. It's just like a cheaper kind of department store. And I went there looking for canning jars like a week ago and they were literally completely sold out in my town and I was like, it's cucumber season. God damn. Everybody's getting all the jars for the pickles again. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so that was wild. But um, I ended up just finding some at Walmart in Salem. And then we made a little day out of it. A little date day. We went down to Salem and we went to the Enchanted Forest and we picked up some gigantic jars for canning as well. You can never have too many jars. That's what I say. Anyways, I'm watering my garden now. Um, I just moved the sprinkler over a little bit. I finally have my sunflowers blooming in the garden. Well, by finally, I mean literally one has bloomed out of like the many that were planted through laying all that hay down that we mucked out of the pig's pen that like we threw sunflower seeds into over the years. Like the pigs basically planted sunflowers for us. So it's very cute. And I probably have like 10 sunflowers in the garden. And I really want to film a video or like a garden tour or something when it's kind of more cleaned up. But I will do like a garden update for you guys in the vlog today but um, I want more of the flowers to open up before I do like a full main channel vid dedicated to the garden, you know? Anyways, those are my updates and future content. Little, not warnings. What's the word? Spoilers? <laughs> what were you doing in your mud puddle? Ta oh my God, she's literally <laughs> soaking wet. Filthy. Hi. Oh, Pete. Did you feed her? Yeah, yeah, I fed her. I left a cucumber in your pasture. So we have a bunch of fava beans over here that are getting really big and honking and tall. So these ones, and we used to have what potatoes. Are fava beans? They're just like, um, oh, they get like ones. bigger than green beans. Mm. And then we can shell them. That's the ones that are in the kitchen right now on the Please, cutting board. The shell on, do you? Like a green bean? you can cook them with the shell on too, uh, either or. And then we had potatoes that were in this bed, but a mole ate them all. And it wasn't Rue. Rue wasn't the mole. Yeah, all of these are my calendula flowers. They're getting pretty crazy. I need to harvest them all again. It just takes so long. And then over here... Are these tomatoes? Yeah, so these are all tomatoes that are coming in. Wow, there's one right here. Does anybody like tomatoes? Do you want oh, wow. this one? For Jared. Delicious and nutritious. Okay, then under here, you can see we have lots of cucumbers. So many cucumbers, like gigantic ones. Oh. And then we have some smaller ones too. And look at these squash that are coming in. I think oh there's some God. kind of an that acorn, but they're really fun and pretty this year. And they've been doing really good because of the trellis. And then we have all of these sunflowers. And here is my glorious corn, Lindsay's favorite vegetable. Oh, oh when will she be ready? I don't know, I was hoping soon. But I guess well, one looks this one looks. Family trip, they might be. Yeah, they'll probably oh be ready for the God, family trip. I would Maybe freak the out. Then. I, I could assume. Will freak out. <laughs> what will you do if I you have a corn on the trip? That corn, and <laughs> I will you shove it. Make a grain <laughs> out of this? And then these are our aromas. Um, all of our tomatoes are coming in this year and ripening, but they haven't like started to get red yet. But hopefully by the family trip they will. Who knows? But we got a true calendula party. So over here, those are the oh. I don't know what happened. It looks like somebody ate it. Those are the sweet potatoes. What Literally happened? Every one of them is, <gasps> Those are sweet, the, the sweet potatoes? Yes. Wow. Well, that's where I found the beet. That the beet was uprooted. So maybe like a mole or something oh. dug it up. Fuckers. Well, that's really sad. Well, at least this this is another one of the sweet potatoes over here and it looks to be fine and then that's another beet down there. So we have beets, we have green beans over there, tomatoes. We also have Romanesco broccoli which is looking really Ooh. glorious. Oh yeah. And lots of the green sunflowers which will open soon. You can see. Oh wow. <laughs> you wanted to touch it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That looks gorgeous. Oh, is that the other type of plant? Yeah. 
Uh, the broccoli cauliflower mix. No, that's the Romanesco broccoli or Romanesca. No, that one's the um, the broccoli flower. That's what I meant. Broccoli flower. And then this cauliflower looks really good. Like this cauliflower could be harvested soon. And that's the one that's one of our few that's not sunburnt this year because a lot of them get sunburnt because we don't do sh use shade cloth, which we probably should. And then we have lots of uh, kale, lots and lots, lots of broccoli. I think this might be broccoli or Brussels sprouts. Don't really know. Lots of tomatoes that we have to put in gates because they're coming up really tall. And so many more sunflowers. That one is going to produce a lot of sunflowers. Do you see? One, yeah. two, three. It's going to be like Four, a tree. Five. Wait, I can't wait. Know. And then all in here is butternut squash, all of these climbing vines that are closer to the ground. And then more broccoli back there. We have lots of tomatoes partying together. And then look, Lindsay, you'll love these baby pumpkins. We're growing. Oh my gosh, those are my favorite. Babies. They're so cute. They're I'll have to ready. bring you one on the trip. Yeah, they are almost ready. So fun. So I'm really excited about those and all the sunflowers oh, coming up. Hiding. I can't stop talking about the sunflowers. It's so awesome. I can't believe that they just volunteer themselves. And then this is all cauliflower and brocco flower up here. And then we have more tomatoes. I'm gonna have one too. And then give the other to Mr. Jared. This one's for you, Jared. No problem. In here we have, this is supposed to be a monster pumpkin but it's not really monstering. It's not really getting crazy, but look at her. Wow, can't believe it, baby. Finally opening up, and this one's opening up today. Sunflowers would wow. actually be a great crop for us to grow because we could compost the organic matter and then feed the seeds to the pigs. Exactly, yeah, and cut them, Still have a nice party. Pollinators. Maybe I could grow my own sunflowers for the wedding if we did it oh early God. enough. Yeah. Who knows? but then I would have to bring them all the way across the country. Um, but then we have some pumpkins coming in over here that look like they just, it was good that Finley did a lot of weeding in here so we have a lot more room. Um, and so some of the stuff is starting to branch out and spread out a little more. That looking, the dead thing over there on the mound is potatoes that we just have to dig up. Um, so they're just under the ground a little bit. And then I realized that we have one big honking tomato in here, our first big red ripe one. It's almost all the way ripe but I don't want to pull it. So over here, this is all of our carrots. Oh, somebody's unearthing these too. Or maybe they just haven't, they need more cover over them, I think. But yeah, we have so much squash this year and a lot of kale and a lot of broccoli and I can't wait. And then over there is all of our onions and rhubarb. Wow, you really did a lot this year. I know, she's getting really crazy. more than I was expecting. Do you like what you see? Oh, I like it a lot. <laughs> How y'all doing? You pigs doing good today or what? <laughs> Hi! Ducky! <laughs> She's like, oh, I'll get over there eventually. <laughs> I <want> yeah. that <laughs> they do love alcohol. Oh my god. They prefer beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Greetings everybody. Sorry if you can hear the AC. It is so ungodly hot out. I'm just so confused. Like, you know, I've lived in Oregon for three years. I don't remember it ever being this hot. And I'm curious. I'm just here in the car in the middle of our Bullwinkles day. I went to go sit in the AC because we just played a round of mini golf. Forgot to vlog it. Honestly, the only thing I was worried about was how hot it was outside. Today it is 95 degrees and I feel as though I'm going to expire in the parking lot here. I don't know why, but I'm curious, you know, just leave me a comment below if it's been like ungodly hot where you live this summer. I just want to know. I want to know if it's been abnormally warm because it has been here and it's, um, it's getting to me. I seem to fall apart in the heat. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is the only thing that's been happening. <laughs> Not anything. Oh, and that. What happened? Oh. <laughs> that was really bad. Could you bring out a dish towel? The woman is unwell. It's not your fault you've been singing the same song for an hour and a half. It was at least three hours. Whenever Auntie Lindsay's in town, she uses her big long nails. Larry shows full thigh. <laughs> Good boy, Larry. You've got such a badass tattoo, Larry. <laughs> so Under his metal penis. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing a little Mario party. Yay! This woman's vibing. Poopa Troopa with the poison mushroom. Put that away. My camera? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> the poisonous one. Larry loves boats. Yeah. Do you? Larry yeah. loves bridges. Wow, you do love bridges. Larry loves old town. <laughs> That's where the Saturday market is, be sure. Larry sure. loves art. Mm, you love art. I love art with me. <laughs> Larry loves Paul Bunyan. Paul oh, Bunyan? Okay. <laughs> Larry loves roses and sunflowers. Larry loves trains. Larry loves the zoo. And at the end of a long day, Larry loves to go to sleep. That's the truth. <laughs> That's the most true statement. The end. So cute. Where'd you get this again? I got it at Powell's. There's a sequel called Larry Gets Lost in Portland. Does Steve or Larry are you may watch them when you guys go to Powell's? Yeah, nice Steve. Steve loves the pigs. Well, Oya loves the pigs too, but Steve normally does it and he's so like, he's so funny. I think his grandpa had pigs, so he's very passionate about his work. Hey! Here we go, son of a pig. Oh my god. It's like National Geographic out here. I feel like you've done a good job, Bob. You even filmed at the game. Thanks. I got a lot of the game. I was getting pretty crazy. That was awesome. Congrats on your big win. It was a huge success. <laughs> a huge <laughs> upset for Portland. If you don't use any of that Lindsay footage last night, you'll have to send it to me. Oh, I will. I'll definitely use some of it. Lord no, knows. That was me too much. <laughs> People. <laughs> Just your eyes. People and it was <laughs> All right, brothers, we came to corner 14 and we're having a little delicious lunch. Oh my god, mine's falling apart. My veggie burrito. It's getting crazy. Things almost fell out. Lindsay also, she went to the same truck as me. She wanted a chips and guac moment. We were originally planning on going to Mesa Fresca, which is a really good new Mexican place downtown, but they were closed for some reason. Jared got Miss Thai, delicious Thai, and Finley got his delicious burger that he's actually obsessed with. Went to heaven and back. <laughs> to steal all my funny things and then tweet them, but then give me no credit. She just did it. She tweeted, why be a normal goose when you could be a silly goose? And she didn't even come up with it. <laughs> We got ice cream at Mike's driving. Joy. Joy. I think Lindsay's drunk on ice cream. Happy, happy, I haven't joy, had joy. a sip of alcohol since last night. And they got, ew, I didn't like that at all. <laughs> I stopped. Jared got a milkshake. Finley got cotton candy explosion. It's gone. It's, it's on his face. Explosion, baby. Yeah, cotton it candy. Just, just cotton candy. Yeah. He wants to try cotton candy explosion, though. And he has purple lips. Hello folks, so we are currently in the car, we're like mm, five minutes away from the airport and 
I have my folks, yeah. my folks back here. It's a little. Oh, there we go. Hi. How y'all doing? <laughs> I was going to ask you guys a few questions. Um, what was your favorite part of the trip? If you had to pick. My favorite part was when I performed an Ellie Golding concert on the streets of Portland. Yeah. And no one asked for it. I just <laughs> kept going. It's just a free compliment. It's really show. fun. <laughs> I'll have to say our, our, our date night or the soccer game. Yeah. Both. Both, were Both in different in yeah. different ways. Different ways. But you did get your, your big win oh. of the Sounders, so oh, yeah. that was awesome. Yeah. You're asking me, but mine would be the soccer game. That yeah. Was totally good. yeah. I would say my personal favorite time that we had was maybe when I took you guys on the garden tour, but I also really liked the game. But I really did like to show you the garden yeah, you tour. Were very I was passionate. I, I said the, the mini pumpkins. Was, part of your favorite part of your vlog was feeding Jared the tomato. Oh yeah, that was my favorite part of the whole vlog was when Jared ate the tomato. Oh yes. <laughs> there was a lot of cute, good footage in this vlog. That's true. We'll have to keep it going on the next family trip in yeah. three weeks. Yeah, we're all going to three weeks. Idaho. Three uh -huh. weeks yeah. and two days. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So this is Jared's first family trip with us and we're gonna have a totally wicked time. It's just gonna be so great. We're gonna do some fishing. We're gonna listen to Chris Stapleton. We're gonna, we're gonna play, play some pool. live music. We're gonna play pool. In the basement. We're gonna oh, go yeah. in the sauna and maybe even grill a I'm kebab. Grill. Lindsay will make her famous kebabs. Mm. Lots of bike rides. Keep around the Ooh, yeah, and ball. bike rides. Yeah, well, play soccer, the boys will play soccer. Oh, I just can't wait. I'm gonna um, let you guys say howdy ho, see you later. Well, okay, nice we'll seeing you up. folks. <laughs> Love you both, thanks for being in it. We had a totally wicked time and a great visit. Hello one, hello all. We're doing a thrift haul. <laughs> just really quickly before we go downstairs in the stream. <coughs> We were gonna stream Mario Party tonight and we had to move it a little later so that we could drop them off at the airport. But before we do that, I just wanted to show the vlog what we freaking got. We went to Red, White, and Blue before we took them to the airport and um, I got a couple of things. Lindsay picked out these pants for me. Look at them, they're like a gorgeous mustard kind of yellow. The lighting's a little overhead lit up here so it's kind of a lot, but they're gonna be really comfortable. I think even Rue could fit in them. Mm, too big a belly. <laughs> I also got this Eagles The Long Run vinyl. And then I wanted to get a skinny black belt because I only have brown belts. And I found this one that has this kind of detailing on it that's like very gold and beautiful. So I really liked that one. That was a total success. I got this shirt <coughs> and I thought it would look really nice as a crop top. Like I might cut this off and re-sew it on a sew drunk but I just thought it would be really cute. Um, you'll notice that all my clothes I got today were all yellow, every single last one of them. And then Lindsay picked this out for me as well. It was a really big fuzzy. Not really the season for it yet, but it's like this really nice soft material and it's the same on the inside, which is pretty rare when you find pullovers like this for them to have that. Are you just dancing for everyone, Rue? And then I got brown, booties because I only have black booties and I'm tired of those being my only other nice shoe other than my mustard colored heels so I got those as well and they you were a total steal. Furry I have two pairs of furry shoes my Fenty Pumas and my um, furry Air Force Ones. Okay here's my highlight starting with the best first sweet and dessert before dinner tonight. This jacket's freaking sweet fit like a gem. Put it on. Real leather. Well, it looks terrible with this outfit. It does look terrible with this outfit. But the suede is so nice, guys. It's crazy. It's like green and camel. It's fantastic. So, absolutely loved that. My next best find was these Super Spy panties. Um, they, I don't usually wear underwear, but these come with one, two, three, four, five, Pockets. Sorry, I wasn't really pointing at the camera. Um, so that's pretty incredible. Finley got a whole new wardrobe. I literally, I got like three clothing items and he got like 20. These are some yellow shorts. A lot of these I just, they don't have a try on, so I'm just gonna, everything was pretty cheap. Yeah. So, a couple bucks a piece. These were some sweet ass. He loves floral pants. Floral pants that I hope fit me that probably won't. Yeah. I picked those ones out for you. Those are a nice color. These I really like. I really hope these fit. Me too. Those look badass. awesome. Mustard pants. 
I'm gonna have to roll them up, but the waist seems like it would fit. Whoever wore these was tall as fuck. <laughs> you know I love the yellow. I'm getting him into the yellow clothes. He just got another well, pair of yellow I was honestly looking for like any colors in this limited selection. Yeah, definitely. Women in the women's pants section is so much better than the men's at thrift stores. Those yeah, are really awesome. Video. I love those that color. Nice, yeah. That's kind of like a green, like a minty green short. He really needed more shorts, and so he got a lot of them. I that was some. I still ended up with more pants. Yeah. Some pretty sweet flower pants. Classic. And I hope Never disappoint. Another pretty sweet. Those are really funky and fun. Yeah. Yeah, I like these ones. I think these might fit a little better, but maybe not. You never know. Rue snooting around in my pile of new clothes. Another pair of shorts. These are like lighter blue than some of my other shorts, so yeah. kind of new. But... He has two like drawstring blue pants, like the ones he's wearing, and so then he got a kind of lighter pair for a little switch up. It's like the same color as those shorts, but kind of in pant form. Yeah, a nice minty green. These They're are twenty dollars. Those were really nice though. Those yeah, are from they are really nice pants, but I'm like, fuck, I wouldn't have bought them for twenty dollars. <laughs> I mean, that's on me. Should've that's okay. Tag, Hopefully they'll be really handsome on you and they're totally worth it in the end. Well, there were some stark realizations there, but overall I'm happy. And that's self next time. Check all price tags. Don't assume that they're all going to be priced the same. Note to self for next time, get Rue a little something something that she can wear. Rue, do you want a little turkey stick next time? A little drumstick? We can stop by the Dairy Queen for you. Get your little milkshake. That was so awesome when we went to Mike's drive-in today for ice cream. Are you edgy? Come on, Rude, let's go stream downstairs. Hello, it's the next day now. Well, the next evening, actually. And I'm wearing the fluffy sweater Lindsay picked out for me. It's so comfortable. And you know how I was complaining in this video about how freaking hot it has been in Oregon? It very suddenly got to be 70 degrees today. Um, even lower than that. I think right now it's probably like 65 or something at night. And I am shook. I'm like, how did this happen so fast? And then I realized that there's been a lot of wildfires in Oregon this summer. And um, wildfires can change weather patterns really drastically. I was just reading an article about this yesterday. And I'll link it down below. Anyways, there I go talking about climate change again. <laughs> But um, today I didn't really do anything that exciting and vlog worthy. I went and I took Rue to the vet to get her nails trimmed and her glands expressed. And then I came back here and I edited this entire vlog and I've just been hanging out. And Finley is out bouldering outside with his buddies on the Columbia River Gorge. And I was like, mm, that's kind of iconic, but I'm gonna be taking a rest day to get back to work after having visitors for the past two weeks straight. So um, I'm glad that I did that. I'm gonna go up stairs and take a bath in a little bit and just kind of like unwind decompress tomorrow I'll probably just like clean and relax too um, I'm just trying to get back into the old swing of things you know what I mean but in the meantime I just wanted to get this vlog up for you guys and just say hey besties I've been doing well I've just been entertaining and having a totally wicked summer you know and um, I'm really really happy that Lindsay and Jared came to visit and we had such a good time with them it was honestly one of my favorite visits that Lindsay has had here like visiting us in Oregon just because Jared's never been here before and we did a lot of like fun funky things with him stuff we've never done before like we went to that Sounders versus Timbers game and it was great it was very rowdy it was really fun it was like a nice classic soccer rivalry and so it was a really fun thing to see and we got to do so much fun stuff that I'm just feeling really good and really grateful and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did please give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel if you're not already ring the notifications bell if you'd like to be notified when I upload if you didn't know I stream every Monday Wednesday and Friday on twitch.tv slash Megan Hughes and play games and sesh and hang out and stuff and you can come watch me for free on there and then I have a Patreon page if you want to get more extra content from me this is where she lives and um, yeah man I'll just talk to you guys in the next video and until then stay smiling bye y'all mm -hmm.